Hey everyone, so the first thing you're going to want to do to import these new CMYK profiles is to download them off the Slack channel. I'll also put a link in the video itself at a later date, but right now they live in the Slack channel for 383. Uh, once you download them, unpackage the zip as usual, and you will see uh, these profiles. The one you want is standard cmyk.csf. Uh, once we have that available, what we're going to do is move into Photoshop, and you'll have your document open. doesn't matter which document at this point. Um, you'll head down to Edit, and then all the way towards the bottom is Color Settings, or you can press Shift-Command-K. We'll pull up this dialog box, and you will find a bunch of presets under here. Um, this is one we're concerned with. We do want to leave this into Apple RGB for editing purposes. Um, and because this will be the first time that we've done this, we want to click load. And we will go to wherever that lives. In my case, it's just in the downloads folder, but it may end up differently depending on where you're working, maybe the lab or something similar. We'll find it, we'll click on it, and you will click open. And it will load that in there. Now, you, like I said, you can always go and swap them out depending on which profile you need at that moment, but uh, by selecting that and clicking OK, you now will have, and we can go back and double check this, uh, when you transfer the color mode from RGB to CMYK, it will transfer using that working space as opposed to the US swap uncoded profile, which is going to give you fully saturated um, channels, which we don't want for screen printing. Hope that helps.